so again your brightness and contrast so now you can come right here now you can change whatever you want it to look now Hey YouTube, this is Thomas of Tomology. I'm going to go over the new NVIDIA app. What you need to do is just type in NVIDIA app in your search bar. You click on it. Here you go. You got your GeForce, your NVIDIA beta app right here. So this is going to replace your um, GeForce experience and pretty soon your global, uh, your global settings as well. As far as we know, it's going to replace your global settings. Ugh. So uh, of course, you click download, and it's going to download it. I already downloaded mine. So you can do your game-ready drivers, your studio drivers. You can optimize and tune each one of your games or applications. Uh, you know, you still got your capture modes. You still got, it measures your performance. Um, AI enhanced visuals. This is what I'm excited about. So if you have a game that's a non-HDR game, uh, which I'm going to go through a lot of games to figure out which ones are on HDR, but I believe you have to turn your monitors HDR off as well. I'm not quite sure. Uh, like, again, I'll have to play with that, but if you have a non HDR game, so what this is going to do, if you have an HDR monitor, then it will turn it into HDR. So I don't know how it works. If you got to turn it on or off or, or how all that works. I haven't got into it just yet. Uh, you got, again, like I said, you got your GeForce now. Uh, you can discover others, uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, NVIDIA Canvas, Omniverse. So, anyway, so let's get to the app. So after you download, you open up the app. So you're greeted right here at the home screen. This is where you're greeted at. So you can learn more about the app. It goes through its own little advertisements at the top. So then it gives you your library. This is everything that you have installed that NVIDIA will um, control or do with. Then right behind, uh, right below that is Discover. So you can discover more. So GeForce Now, I, I don't, don't use it. I used to use it when I used my NVIDIA Shield, but it's not, I don't like it. But if you like it, it's right here. So you can get it, get updates for it. You know, try in browser. Your NVIDIA broadcast, I do like this. This is what's keeping my background out of my my torso right here, out of my halo. Uh, you got your Omniverse. Again, I'm going to be playing with that. But any type of that, whenever they get new stuff, they're going to start adding it right here for a quick and easy, just click, download, and be done. Uh, your uh, NVIDIA Canvas, your iCat tool, and then your frame view. So, and it gives you a description on what they are in each one of these. So next down the line, drivers. So say you're having issues with your driver or your game, you think that it was the driver itself, you can come up here and hit uh, uh, reinstall. It tells you, you know, what's new in there and what they fixed in there. So like right here, they fixed the video HDR tone mapping not working properly with custom HDR brightness values in Windows. So that was in the video card patch. I haven't really messed with that. So next down is your graphics. So again, so say I OBS, I wanna hit optimize. I can just hit optimize right now. So it's telling me what my current is right here. So it's telling me I am in a X264, which I don't know why I am because I should be in X264. Uh, oh. So I should use my, vi my CPU and not my video card. I need to use my video card. Why is that off? All right, well, that's something I got to test. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. If y'all heard me sneeze, excuse me. All right, but anyways, it gives you breakdown in your, you know, RTX dynamic vibrance. And they have little bitty, you know, key keys next to them of what they each do. That way you know not to mess with it. And if you do mess with it and you mess something up, there is a good restore button here. So again, let's go to Fortnite since it's not open. So right here, I can just hit optimize. So now in here, I can revert it just as the old uh, GeForce was, the GeForce experience. So tell me what my current values are. 3D uh, resolution is at 
they recommend 100 uh, for the 4090. This is also gonna be based off of your CPU, your video card, your RAM, everything in your system. This here is gonna calculate it for you. So I always found that if you do what they say to do here, that um, you might get lower for, uh, FPSs in your game. So down to even like the VCL player, I mean, I can optimize it. So, which actually I'm going to do that. All right, DaVinci, I use DaVinci for video editing. So it tells me, you know, what recommended, which is what I already have. So, and I can optimize it. That way it never veers off of here. Call of Duty, it doesn't give me the option here. So I don't know why Call of Duty is not giving me the option. I think I already have it. I might have it at the highest. I don't know, in the Call of Duty. So then the next, you have a redeem button. So to redeem, if there's anything that you've bought and it's linked to your account, or if they're giving something away for free, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna redeem. If you see, I have redeem, 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 redeemed. So you can come in here, redeem it. Uh, if you got a code for something else, you put your code in here, you redeem it, and then it'll pop up in here, tells you how to use it. And then you go to settings. So underneath settings, uh, we have, your rig so your operating system i'm running windows 11 pro i got a 4090 uh, my driver and what date the driver was my display 4k at 240 hertz uh, 13 uh, gen 13700k uh, all my hard drives which i have four of them got something like 15 terabytes how much ram i got 32 gigs of ram uh, nvidia overlay so then it gives you your features on here so I uh, was cool at this point on this screen here say you you want to get to your global settings which uh, at one point they're going to take the nvidia control panel away so a lot of people don't know which i know a lot of people don't because i let a lot of people know if you go hit show more you got an nvidia control panel right here once you click this it brings up an nvidia control panel so now you can come in here and you can set your video you can come and set your uh, image your 3d settings I suggest coming in here and putting your latency mode on I wouldn't change too much in here unless you know what you're doing uh, your ECC which is your um, energy efficiency so you can come in here change resolution I always suggest coming into here go to resolution always use Nvidia color settings and then change what if it, what bit your monitor is so as far as the Alienware, it's telling me that I'm 10-bit. If I go to my LG, which ain't even on, I actually got 12-bit, which I need to go ahead and apply. Give me one sec. All right, we're back. So you always want your full as a bit. This is just my secondary monitor. Um, I redid Windows last week. So this monitor here, I'm only at 144 frames. Where this one here, I'm at 240 native. Anyway, so color adjustment. Color adjustments where a lot of people, they just don't realize what their graphics card and monitor can do. So if you just change your digital vibrance, okay, you get a totally, totally different look of your monitor. So um, I've had people say, hey, e even on this monitor here, this new Alienware 240 OLED monitor, uh, they're like, hey, I'm ready to throw this away. The colors are washed out. Uh, is yours washed out? Because I had problems with the white balance on mine. So I'm like, oh, go into NVIDIA Control Panel or you know AMD and find where you can increase your digital vibrance. So if you increase your digital vibrance, you're going to change the way your monitor looks 100%. Um, I have so many people this even before OLEDs on the LCDs. They're like, man, mine's, my image is dull. And it's because of your digital vibrance. But anyways, let's get back to the app. That's what this is about. So again, so instead of going that long way, what I just did, you can just click right here. So now it brings you here. So you have that in this application. Your notifications, of course, you want your drivers and you want your awards. And then about, uh, you can opt in to receive early access builds, which I always do. Uh, I don't mind getting early access builds, and if there's something wrong with it, then I know what it was. Um, 
that is necessary for the nvidia app to operate and cannot be switched off so you can't do this one which i think is stupid we should be able to set our privacy to whatever whenever you come in here this right here will be checked i'm gonna uncheck this because i don't want no data going to nvidia now if you have just a dedicated machine and you're only testing stuff for nvidia or you know depending on what your use case scenario is an average gamer is not going to use it but then put the error and crash data that way it gives them more data the more people that do that the more they can find out what's going wrong with their driver system so and of course determine if it's them or windows and then you got your privacy portal so it's just going to bring you up you know each each one of these will just bring up something new release highlights what's new so that is about it as far as the app itself now what is pretty cool though so if you hit alt z let me close this window here so you still got your record for your shadow play right i know i am already recording uh, oh no it asked me if i want to record uh no i don't want to record shadow play but anyway you got your gallery I have nothing in here uh, that's your gallery is going to be whatever you record or screen record while you're in shadow play itself which is off f9 start uh you got your instant replay you can come in here you can put on instant replay and it will replay then you can let me turn it on you can go to settings how long you want it to do how long you don't want it to do next up is screenshot of course screenshot we should all know photo mode this will you know bring in a photo launch a supported game so you got to have a, a game that supports it and that allows it a lot of games don't allow it for copyright reasonings uh, turn highlights and key moments on so again i keep all that off then you got your microphone off and on for whenever you're recording and then game filters game filters is pretty cool so this is what's going to show this is where you come in for a non hdr game which there again i'm there's nothing i can really do that's going to show this uh i might be able to let's open up epic i've already tried fortnite fortnite's already hdr and my lawnmower sim over here is already hdr i can't do call of duty it's already hdr and there's a lot of games i haven't installed yet because i just redid windows not too long ago so um let me go ahead and get this little bit right here installed for this new game it's a racing game it was free last week on epic if anyone don't know epic epic gives out a game a week free every week a game sometimes they're cheesy sometimes they're not sometimes they're good but they give out a free game a week and certain times of the year they'll give out like a game a day so which I think is pretty cool by Epic just by signing up. There's no, you know, fee. It's not like the PlayStation Plus or Xbox where you got to buy a premium service every every year. So, let's see. So, if I can get hit Alt-Z and then come to Game Graphics. All right. So, now, I'm going to load up, do its thing so I can move around. All right. HDR is already on apparently. So, oh, let me close this out. Allow here. So, gives you a button here. And now you can adjust your sharpening. Gotcha. So, you can do that all from in game. So, if your game's not doing something, uh, if it's not doing something right, it's like letterbox. Look at there. I mean make your game letterbox if you're streaming it or recording it and you know how much you want it to do that's pretty cool you can check look at that mess with everything on here so i just now it's the, the point of can i click on letterbox and just delete uh, letterbox so let's see letterbox remove Look at there, removes it right off the bat. Uh, make it look like an old film. So you were trying to get a, a, an epic intro or something. This right here would be an epic intro. You're recording this right here. Night mode. 
So again, you just come up here, click on it, and then trash it. You don't want the sharpening no more. Come up here, trash it. Uh, we're going to keep the brightness and contrast on. Old film, we want to go ahead and trash. Yeah. No. Old film. Oh, come on. All right. Yes. Yes. Remove all of them. All right. So again, your brightness and contrast. So now you can come right here. Now you can change whatever you want it to look now. You want more vibrance to it? You want more highlights? More shadows? Less shadows? This is um, the black highlights? And of course your gamma. So yeah, this is... To have this type of in-game overlay and, and to get to this is pretty cool. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to click on here. We're going to click on delete. All right, now we're back to normal. And then we can click on the game and we can actually click none. And anytime you have a new new game in here, so you have all 19 filters that you can put on it. Uh, the only one so far that I've noticed that you can't adjust is the RTX for um, the HDR. All right, so you come here, like I said, you come to NVIDIA app, just type in NVIDIA app in your search bar and uh, you'll be greedy right here you just hit the download button and it gives you the nvidia app what's really cool though about this as well is uh anyone who has an nvidia card you have to log into nvidia in order to download drivers with this as of right now as of february 22nd 2024 you do not have to have a login to to install your drivers which i think is a plus why do we need to have a login for our drivers all right, I'm Thomas of Tomology. Please like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, you know, comment down below. That'll help a little YouTuber like me out get up in there and get more content out.